Welcome back to Mason Talks. So yesterday the Browns played the Raiders in Cleveland and the Browns lost 27 to 20. Now if you don't know about the Raiders, they are arguably one of the worst teams in the NFL and you lost to them. Josh McCown went out and threw for 341 yards, two touchdowns, and a game-losing interception. Eric Carr came out and threw all over you. Amari Cooper made Joe Hayden look like he was a JV cornerback. Joe, what happened? Amari Cooper's a rookie? Oh my gosh, you're a pro... Bruh. What happened to being a Pro Bowl corner? Wait, you still are one. What? I, what? <laughs> Brown's defense played awful yesterday. What happened to running the football and having a great run defense? What's, what, what even is his name? Murray? You know Murray from the Raiders? He ran for, yeah, you know Murray, yeah, totally. He ran for 139 yards and a touchdown. Th their backup running back ran for 136 yards and a touchdown. 39 yards and a touchdown. Great run defense there, and then Isaiah Crowell only ran for 36 yards. <laughs> Literally the only NFL scheme you'd ever agree to do, Ray Farmer, you can't do because you can't get us a good player. Josh McCown, who gave you a better chance to play, you know what their argument's going to be? He threw for 300 and something yards and two touchdowns. Johnny only threw for 180 yards. Johnny also won. <laughs> I don't see how Mike Pett and Ray Farmer can still say that Josh McCown is the better option for winning because he's not winning and Johnny is. I am on the Johnny bandwagon. I'm going to wear this Johnny jersey till he starts. Every single Browns video, this is going to be the jersey that I wear, my Johnny Manziel jersey. Until Johnny starts, I'm going to ride the bandwagon until Johnny starts. You know what, Ray Farmer, Mike Pett, you guys can ride the Josh McCown bandwagon, but that bandwagon is going to take you out of Cleveland. <laughs> In this NFL, bro, you guys are modeling your team after a scheme that people haven't used since the 80s. <laughs> the last time this team, the, the last time this scheme was successfully used outside of maybe like the Seahawks or the Ravens of 2000, Bernie Kosar was like the quarterback. <laughs> you aren't gonna win like that and you're not gonna win with Josh McCown. You need to put Johnny out. This is the best opportunity to win the AFC North you guys have had in a long time. Ben Roethlisberger is out. They have Michael Vick. He's a good backup, but Roethlisberger is out making the Steelers far less terrifying. The Ravens are 0-3. I repeat, 0-3. Worse than you're doing right now. Yeah, the Bengals are doing good, but it's September. You know, Andy Dalton is going to realize, bro, wait, I'm Andy Dalton. I should be sucking right now, and then he's going to start doing awful. You guys can't win because you're too focused on redefining the way the game is played. If it's not broken, don't fix it like the extra point. <laughs> the players in the locker room these days are too focused on how they look on social media than actually being good players. Like Justin Gilbert, what are you going to tell your kid when he's like, Daddy, you played in the NFL, were you good? And then you're going to have to be like, I wasn't good, but I got paid, you know what I'm saying? And then your kid's going to be like, suck, Dad. <laughs> Literally, now it's more about the money. You gotta cut those players out that are too focused on social media. Like Mike Pettin, here's the test. Go in, take their phone and like smash it on a wall. And then if they're like, I'm going on strike, then those are the players you cut. Like Joe Hayden is not gonna be like, what? Well, yeah, Joe Hayden will be like, what the heck, my phone? But he's not gonna like go on strike about it. He's making a lot of money. You know why he's making a lot of money? Because he deserves it. Mike Pettin, like, could be running a funeral home. <laughs> The guy has no energy. He's like, oh, Josh threw for 300 yards and we find that good. 300 yards is not good if you're losing. Bro, 180 yards looks a lot better than 300 yards if a win comes with it. <laughs> Johnny gives you a better chance of winning. Dot, like, period. Done. He gives you a better chance. Johnny is the better quarterback right now. I wasn't saying that earlier, but after watching Josh McCown yesterday, bro, no quarterback is going to be able to play when, like, jo like the team plays better when Johnny is playing, which is strange. <laughs> like, yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it. <laughs> that was so weird. Yesterday, um, Johnny would not have, he, he, he would have changed the game offensively, but the defense does also need to do their part. Johnny's not playing linebacker, cornerback, or defensive line. He's playing quarterback. He cannot control what goes on on the defense. That's why, like, they all... You need to get with it! 
Gee, I got way too mad right there. <laughs> I'm slowly starting to realize that the fact that we have Mike Patton at head coach is making us lose. Um, I thought Mike Patton was a good coach until I realized that he is dumb. <laughs> you know what? Brown's losing. Normally I take it a lot harder, but I don't take it as hard this year for one reason. And here I'll show you. What? Ta-da! It's magic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> this jersey is way too big on me, Steph. But LeBron's not always gonna be here to make it better. LeBron is gonna be 31, and in, he's been playing since he's 18. He's not gonna play into his 40s. He's got like, what, five years left? Browns, you gotta get it together. You gotta get it together in the next five years, or like, it's gonna be so awful. Right now, I'm falling back on the Cavs, because I know they're gonna do good. Probably. <laughs> But then when LeBron leaves and the rest of the team probably leaves, who are we going to fall back on? The Indians, maybe? Maybe. Francisco Lindor looks good. <laughs> but the Browns, it would make it so much easier if the Browns were just good, but they're not. They're not. <laughs> so yeah, player of the game, I would have to give it to Amari Cooper because he shredded us. Or Murray, their running back. They both did really good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Browns lose. Hopefully next week you guys can get it together against the Chargers, though. They're pretty good. Johnny, I hope... Browns, listen up right now. Start Johnny. He is going to make you win. And, like, you got to find out if he can consistently win in the league. Because, like, there are a couple of decent quarterbacks coming up this draft that you might have to look at. Like, I'm serious. You are not... Mike, Mike Pett and Ray Farmer, you're not going to be... You're not going to be here if you don't start making good decisions. Bottom line. <laughs> Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Um, I am on Periscope at Mason Talks, so make sure you follow me there. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.